Hello, this is Mike at Game for Scratch, and welcome to a brand new tutorial series. And this one's pretty big, actually. I've done dozens of tutorial series here on YouTube, and I've done hundreds over on GameFromScratch.com over the years, but I've never done one that starts at the very beginning. So if you are a completely new programmer and you want to learn game development, this is the right series for you, I hope. Uh, we are going to start at the very beginning, teach you what you need to know for programming, and then teach you game programming. In order to do this, we are going to use the Lua game engine, sorry, the Lua programming language and the Love game engine. Now, if you're here to learn Love, okay, that sounded strange. If you're here to learn the Love game engine, we will cover that shortly. The beginning is going to be more about getting set up, started, teaching the basics of programming. But after that, it will become a traditional Love tutorial series as well. So hopefully this will be of use to you as well. Now, you as a very, very beginner may be wondering, why would I choose Lua? And first off, this isn't really a question that you should spend a lot of time wondering about. People spend days, months, weeks, years trying to decide, oh, I should start with programming. What language should I use? Well, you don't know yet. You're not capable of making that decision yet because you can't measure the merits of good versus bad because you're at a beginning stage. It's just natural that way. And the nice thing is I'm not anymore. And I can tell you firsthand, Lua is a very beginner friendly language. Now, on the other hand, it also is a useful language. So well after the fact that you've finish learning the basics of programming, Lua will continue to be useful. It is the programming language of half a dozen commercial mobile game engines. It is the um, scripting language of choice for even AAA game engines such as CryEngine has Lua in it. So even 20 year experienced veteran AAA game developers are programming in Lua. So it is not a waste of time learning this. Now on top of that, programming is programming. So learning the basics of programming, learning about variables, program control, etc., it's best to do it in a language that is approachable. And that's what Lua is. Now I know a lot of you are gonna be probably heard about C++ and that that's what the pros use and that's the special language and that's what I should be learning. Well, it's not, in my humble opinion. It's a difficult to learn thing. Now you should learn C++ eventually if you need it. And I agree, it's a useful language and it's a powerful language, but it is not a beginner language in any way, shape, or form. Now, I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with me on that or believe me on that, so I've actually done a video that shows the getting started process in both C Sharp, C++, and Lua. I'll link it down below so then you can take a look at it and decide for yourself which approach is going to be right for you. And if Lua doesn't look right after watching that video, no harm done, saved you a lot of time, good luck learning C++. However, if not, hopefully you will find this series very useful. Now, as I said, we're going to start off with the Lua programming language and then the Love Game Engine. And both of those are completely free. So we'll start off with some setup stuff and then we'll get into the basics of programming. Now, on top of that, I'm also going to do some optional series. For example, I'm going to do a video um, very shortly on the um, a little bit more on the intricacies of Love what love is. And again, that sounds very strange. Damn you, love, for making such a weird name. But that's what we're going to look at. We're going to have an optional tutorial or an optional video on, you know, learning a bit more about how this thing works, what its relationship to Lua is, etc. But the keyword is optional. If you're just here to learn about how to program, don't worry about the optional videos. Just skip them. Although I do assume you've watched or understand all of the prior content. Otherwise, I'll have to spend so much time doing a recap. We'll just waste time. So I assume you've watched every non-optional video in this series up to this point. And hopefully you enjoy the optional ones too and learn a little bit more. Uh, so that's that's the series in a nutshell. That's what we're gonna aim to accomplish. Hopefully by the end of this, you will be creating very cool 2D games. And more importantly, you'll have the basics of programming down. So then you can learn whatever you want from there. Now it's gonna take some time obviously to get this series up and going. Now another part I'm doing at the same time is I'm actually creating this in a book form. Um, I have a patron account and I haven't really done much to thank patron backers. So that's one of the major things I'm going to do. I'm going to make this getting started programming book covering basically the same material we're going to cover here in this videos available to patron backers. And eventually I'm going to make it for sale, probably on lean pub or eventually on Amazon. I'm not really sure exactly what approach I'm going to take there. And on top of, um, doing, you know, the lesson, the beginning lesson on, you know, learning, uh, Lua programming and then the Love Game Engine. I'm also going to have more content there and there on um, here are the tools, the state of the union for tools in the in the industry. So we'll break down all the 2D art tools, 3D art tools, uh, the various programming languages, popular options available for them. So I'm going to do a kind of what I hope will be the ultimate getting started and quick reference guide for programming. And that's going to be available to 
all patron backers at all levels, and it'll also be available for a one-time purchase um, in some way, shape, or form. Hopefully, be completely finished, polished, and done by the end of 2016, but hopefully it'll be useful much, much earlier than that. So that's going to be available on Patreon. I'll have the link down below. I'm also going to do a little bit more with Patreon. I'm going to start having a little bit more assets and stuff available through there. So if you want to support Game From Scratch, please check out Patreon. Um, there will be a lot more interesting stuff coming through that channel. But for everybody else, don't worry. Uh, all of the source code for this is going to be available on Game From Scratch. All the art assets we use during these tutorials is going to be available on Game From Scratch. And the book is covering the same material we're covering in the videos. So there is no optionals. It's just the same stuff in book form. So it's a, it's a separate way to support us. Or if you prefer having a book or you want to ship it off to a friend, etc., that is the route you can take, and I would really appreciate it, but you don't have to in any way whatsoever. So stay tuned. Next up, we're going to start getting your environment set up. You know, we'll get the tools you need to get going, and then we'll get started right away on learning Lua programming. Hope this series proves useful to you. See you all soon. Bye.